Hey there guys, in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of an overview of my pellet gun collection. I've got five guns here, and if at any point during the video you see a gun that you want to learn more about, I'll have a link in the description to each of the guns videos that I've done reviews on separately. Also on each individual video you'll find links in the description to where you could buy these guns or learn more about them. But for the time being, in this video I'll show you guys some of my favorite pellet and BB guns, and then we'll go over the stats for each one. So starting off with my absolute favorite pellet gun, this is the Swiss Arms Tac 1 Brake Barrel Pellet Gun. This one shoots .177 caliber pellets, and it comes with a 4x32 mil dot scope. And out of my whole arsenal, this is also the fastest shooting gun at 1200 feet per second, and it just absolutely destroys whatever I shoot, usually soda cans that are shaken up. Coming to my second favorite rifle, this is the Daisy A80 Powerline Air Rifle. It shoots around 715 to 750 feet per second, depending on if you're using a pellet or a BB. BBs go a little bit faster since they weigh less. This one in particular came with a 4x15 scope, you can also buy them separately if you find a package that doesn't include one, but this package also included the scope, BBs, and a couple pellets. What's different about this one from the Swiss Arms Tac 1 brake barrel is that this is capable of firing pellets but also BBs, you can load them into a reservoir here. And instead of a brake barrel like the other one, this one is pump action, so you have to lift this out and pump it a couple times to get air built up into a piston that will then shoot the BB out of the barrel. And then last for rifles, this is the Crossman Pumpmaster 760. It's also capable of shooting pellets and BBs like the last one, and it also operates on a pump system. This one shoots around 645 FPS with BBs, and then 615 feet per second with pellets. And then just like the last one, it has a reservoir for BBs, but for pellets it's got a little 5 round clip. Then moving on to pistols, this is the Umarex CO2 XBG, so it's CO2 powered and shoots around 410 feet per second. This one's not capable of firing pellets, but it is capable of firing 4.5mm BBs, or .177 caliber BBs. This one has a 19 round drop magazine seen here. And the nice thing about the kit that I bought this pistol with is that it comes with this TAC converter. It doesn't make it fully automatic or anything, it's still semi-automatic, but it just gives it kind of like a carbine feel to it. And then last, but also probably my favorite for the pistols, is the Crossman Vigilante. This one is also CO2 powered. And then unlike the last one, this one is capable of firing both BBs and pellets depending on the magazine you use. This 10 round magazine is designed to hold the pellets, and then there's also a 6 round magazine that's designed to hold the BBs. Then this one will shoot around 435 feet per second, and it has kind of that Colt Python feel, so I just really enjoy using it. I think that is going to be about it for today's video, though, guys. I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of this Pelican collection. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more, so I just thought I'd put them all together, and then if you guys want to cherry pick which ones you'd like to see, there will be videos in the description below. Also, something that I won't be doing in this video that I've done in all the other videos is done a shooting test, so you can see me trying them out, seeing the accuracy, and seeing soda cans explode, which I always enjoy. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below, but I think that's going to be about it, so I will see you guys in the next one.